Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome to yet another interesting episode of Nosofe Life Elton Lifestyle YouTube channel. And today, on today's episode, we'll be talking about full milk and iron milk. You know, you may have heard people talk about full milk, iron milk, and wondering, does the breast produce this type of milk? What really happens? You know, this is practical. This is not what you'll find on Google. I'm going to be showing you the real thing, yeah. So we're going to be trashing all that today. If you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, can you find the link in my bio right now on Instagram and do so. If you have, thank you so much. Thank you. Now let's get into the business of the day. For me, I mean what it really entails. Now, let us get the facts straight. The breast does not produce two types of milk. The breast produce one type of milk, but the mechanism of um, the production is what makes it different. I'm going to be um, explaining. Take a good look at these two bottles. I have one in one I have iron milk and in one I have four milk. Can you actually tell me what the difference is? Well, looking at it, I can tell you, but I don't know if you can tell me. I'm going to be explaining all of all of that now. Basically, the four milk is the um, is the milk available when your baby starts feeding, while the iron milk is the milk that your baby gets at the end of the feed. Now, what makes it different? The um, foam milk is quite um, watery. Look at this. This is the foam milk. It is quite watery because this is the milk that your baby gets at the beginning of your feed. And why is it so? It is so because during the milk production, the fat cells, the fat um, globules, they tend to stick to the walls of the alveoli. As they stick to the walls of the alveoli, once um, feeding is initiated, what happens is that as your baby sucks, the milk, you know, the milk is ejected out and is moving towards the nipple to satisfy your baby. Because the um, fat cells are stuck to the walls of the alveoli, what the baby gets is this four milk phase, the watery one, with low fat. This contains more lactose and low fat. Yes, because the more usually um if the breast is like lots engorged like there's a lot of milk in it this for me comes at first you know rush rush and it's usually the production is usually very large if you are pumping you will understand what i mean the production is usually very fast and very large because the the, the fat cells are still stuck to the walls of the alveoli now as the baby empties the breast like he's done with this four milk you can we cannot tell for sure when the four milk changes to iron milk i do not have that fact no i don't think anybody has that fact only god does now what happens is as the baby starts to empty the breast this iron milk starts coming out it starts coming out because those fat cells stuck to the alveoli the other time and now what detaching from the walls of the alveoli and they are now creeping into the remaining milk hence the thickness the richness in fat that these are look at it you can see it it is thicker it is creamier than what we have here now the the the, the, the um the benefit that it's not as if if your baby gets this it will not benefit from it or grow it will still grow it is not what to worry about it's just for our education maybe my baby gets four milk more than i make is not what to worry about although there is a condition called um, lactose overload which may occur if um, you know the baby um consumes more of the um for milk than the iron milk because that means that it has a lot of lactose that is unable to break down now babies with um lactose overload they may appear like they have um they have um digestive um issues and um they may have a lot of flatulence or gassiness growing foamy or fruity explosive stools and with pain which usually comes is noticeable maybe they may scream a lot when they want to um actually pass um poo yeah but really it's it's a rare condition so it's nothing to worry about we're just using this as an education for ourselves and that's just why it is important that you allow the baby maximum feed i'm not saying don't change the breast because if you have to make sure that the baby himself or herself has taken the mouth off the first breast then when the second feed commences or the third feed if assuming you've used the right feed the right breast at the first time the second time when the baby cries for food you are giving the baby the left breast to avoid um engorgedness or something i don't know if we we'll get um what i mean what i the mechanism i explain behind this um for me and the i mean now let's let's also take this to mean when you want to get a hot water from a tap what i mean i want to get hot water from this tap this is what I do. I turn it to the left to get my hot water. 
at the initial stage, the water is not hot, it's cold. Then it starts getting hot. Then if I still leave it, it starts getting hotter and hotter. At the very first stage that I turn the tap to the left and the water is cold, that is where my foam is coming out. Yes. Then at the stage that it's not getting hotter, that is when the foam is changing gradually to the iron milk. And if I continue to empty the tap, sort of emptying the breast as the baby sucks, the water gets hotter, right? Yes, that means the, the iron milk production also increases, like it gets more and more and more and more. Now, if I decide that I do not want hot water anymore, and I just turn off this tap just away, and then just now, I come back again to turn it on, it is still hot because I just literally left the tap on and off, you know? That's the same way it happens. That's the next thing that happens when you, if your baby um, feeds just now and then it gets to the point of getting the iron milk and then I'm um, say in um, 15, 20 minutes he's crying again for hunger and you put him to breast again, he's most likely going to get the iron milk at that time, at the same breast. But if you leave it for a longer time, say one hour, two hours, then that means well, if, that, if I leave this tap for one hour, two hours now and then I want to get same auto water again, that means I'm going to start the process of coldness it is still hot now because i just turned it you know off i'm going to start the process of cold first then hot so that is just the simple um home um example i can give you of how the formic and the iron milk works now for people that are pumping what i do is that if zion gets this now which is a four milk next time he's crying for food and i want to warm the breast milk i give him the iron milk just so I balance it, so that it doesn't all the time is getting just the formula that she's richer in lactose, low in fat, and not getting the full milk. So I hope I've been able to pass uh, a bit of um, information to y'all all, and um, I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, some boys, thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Same station, don't change the dial. Bye. Yeah.